Dub dub morning, ladies. My name is Chaz, and welcome to the Dark Fiend. Or this is a custom card review. So in this what or in this Dark Fiend's what if or Dark Fiend or this custom cards, I'm going over my Dark Fiends. <coughs> it is almost similar to Dark World, but. I'm, I don't feel that the Dark World needs all the support. So I created this new archetype. So, start things off. Let's kick things off with Dark Fiend. Repo or, or mirror of darkness once per turn, <coughs> once per turn during either player's draw phase, you return one card from either player's graveyards or band zones to the deck and then shuffle it and then. This, you can activate one of these effects. You can inflict 100 damage or 1000 damage to your opponent's life points. Your opponent and must return three cards from a hand or field into the deck, to their deck. And <clears throat> then third is you gain 200 high points for each level this card has. Two levels makes it 40 or four. And number four is do all of the above. Basically, it's like one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Three cards. And if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can spell summon this card from your graveyard to your field by discarding one card from the top of your deck. So, yeah. And this can't be chained to it. So. Then, this run, Dark Fiend Mystical Red Panel. The other one was Red Panel of Darkness. This one. This card is treated, or this card's name becomes Mystical Red Panel thing on the field or graveyard. Once per turn, during either player's battle phase, if your opponent's monster attacks before damage calculations, you can pay 100 life points to negate that attack and end their turn. If you do, this card gains 100 attack and defense for each time this card activates this effect. If this card is in your graveyard, you can shuffle two cards from your graveyard or banner zone or hand into the deck. And then shuffle it, and then you can special summon this card from your graveyard to your field in attack mode. If it does, then destroy all cards from your opponent's field and hand to the graveyard. But their effects cannot be... Their effects are negated until this card leaves the field. So, yeah. Then we got Dark Fiend Mystical Elf. The. <coughs> Sorry. So, she is treated as the 
mystical elf. The light counterpart. I know she has a dark counterpart, but this is for only for this archetype. During either player's turns, if if your opponent activates a card effect that destroys a card on the field before activating, you can pay life points to negate that card effect instead and end their your opponent's turn. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can special summon this card from your graveyard by shuffling one card from your graveyard or banner zone into your deck. And then shuffle it. And if you do, add one Dark Fiend spell card or trap card from your graveyard or banner zone or deck to your hand. So this one, I forgot to mention. <coughs> the this the one that's or these cards that say this card is treated or this card's name becomes like such and such on the field or graveyard. This one is treated as the that trap card's name. This one is treated as the Vanilla Monsters her name. And this one, or like, this one is not treated as like any of those. Neither is this one. And this one is like, I'll just say it like this one, you can... You can special summon one dark fiend of material for once per turn. And if this card is used for XYZ with a monster, it, it gains its hauling effect. This card is unaffected by your opponent's card packs and can't be destroyed by battle or and this card gains 100 attack or and defense for each end phase. And yeah, this one brings one monster back, including itself, so. But in defense mode. Then. Uh, the. This one. Is a is basically a main engine of it. <coughs> He's a wind level three tuner monster machine with only three hundred attack, one hundred defense. But this effect allows him to basically add a pulsation to your hand and and if this card is fusion summoned with a monster or monsters and it gains this effect it can attack your opponent's life points directly and, yeah and it this card is. You can special summon this card to your field in attack mode from your gear, but destroy all cards. So, yeah. And then we got Gaga Gego of Darkness. This card is one of those cards that I said. That they are treated as their other counterpart. Original counterparts. This card's name is always treated as... Uh, uh, no. On the field or graveyard. So basically, yeah. If this card is sent 
or is normal summon or special summon? You can special summon two Dark Fiend monsters from your deck or graveyard or hand to your field in attack mode. And if you do, this card gains 100 attack points for each Dark Fiend card from your field by this effect. So basically, yeah. And then if this card is in your graveyard, you can inflict, or you can shovel one card in your graveyard or hand into the deck, except this card, and then you can special summon this card from anywhere to your field in attack mode. But its attack points become double attack points. That's insane. The... You could just summon it, and he has two friends right off the bat. If they get destroyed with Gogo Gigo, um, you could summon it itself, um, and it brings those two back, and, and then, yeah. So... Yeah, this one is a new one. Plus it gains... It's basically like how... Copycat... The... Card is. Like, during either player's turn, you can select one card from your opponent's deck, and then your opponent must discard that card... That select discard that selected card to the graveyard, and then this card gains that card effect without a cost to use it. If this card is, you know, <coughs> <coughs> yeah, so. It is crazy. You can <laughs> and then now we're on the spell cards of World of Dark Fiends. All Dark Fiend monsters gain this effect or from your field gains this following effect or once per turn. This card's urge effects cannot be negated by card effects and can attack your opponent's life points directly. And then it has graveyard effect, and I'm not going to go over. So, yeah. So then now the three boss monsters Dark Fiend of Rock, it takes two dark monsters. Monsters. Yeah, special summons like this one. And if it's a synchro with a monster or monsters, and it gains this following effect. <laughs> so, yeah, and then this one allows itself to add a, like, Darkness XYZ spell card from to bring out this one. Yeah, so I'm not going to go over the boss monsters effects. You could see them. So, yeah. And these guys, these big boss monsters, is basically like. How will I put this? They're basically like Paradox. One. But with like new twists to them. It is like a combined of Paradox. And. I'm talking about the archetype and Dark World. 
because the some of these cards are treated as their or like versions like this one sorry if I said their names wrong but yeah like this one is supposed to be like that you know, Gego's monster thing. So, yeah, there's even the ones that are like Dark Fiend, Dark Magician thing. Versions, and yeah. It's pretty crazy. So, now, please wait for my what if. 